to the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us and you'll be free And to go After you, dear we last left Fredericksburg, Virginia. Well, we met up with a classmate. Hey, Robert. <laughs> and from high school and went out to dinner with him. And then we have headed over to Luray. Where the heck is that? Luray, Virginia. Um, actually, it's in a very beautiful area of like the sh part of the Shenandoah Valley and um, met yeah, up close, with a, close to the Shenandoah mm -hmm. National Park. And yeah, we're kind of bummed because we missed the Luray Caverns. We right. wanted to to go through that. Also, we were right there, but we needed to get going, and, and that was just last night or yeah. yesterday. But um, the reason we went there is to meet up with one of our followers. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> and we went out to dinner with her and um, had a wonderful dinner and visit. And um, she made, she made a, a wonderful <laughs> pineapple cream pie that was very, very good. So thank you for that, Kathy. Yeah, that was and, very, very nice. Yeah. Very and sweet. like Brian mentioned, we. Uh, very sweet. So we, we left Luray last night and now headed down to Harrisonburg. I'll go ahead Virginia. and start us up while we're waiting for this. <laughs> and again, the reason we didn't like take time to go through the Luray Caverns, which probably people should if they get through there, is because uh, the weather pattern. Uh, it rained a lot yesterday. Today is Saturday and the uh, weather is like there's a break. And then tomorrow is more rain in a huge area over here on the east. And we want to head towards, where are we going? The New River Gorge? Yes, in West Virginia. So we got to get there and we want to take advantage of a good weather day today to, to go up um, to see the New River Gorge Bridge and cross yes. that. Well, there's a lot of things to see through that uh, yeah. national park. Yeah, but today and... really is our only good weather day to do that. Um, so we like had to mm -hmm. cut short some other things. We, speaking of, we should probably get going. Yes. We got uh, a little over two hour drive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From here, two hours and 12 minutes. Again, we're in Harrisonburg, Virginia at the Cracker Barrel. Uh, two hours and 12 Starting minutes. Starting route to Sandstone Visitor Center. We're going to start off at the Visitor Proceed Center. Proceed to Pleasant Valley Road. We're going to make... turn left. Proceed and turn left. And we're going to make our way all the way up to the New River Gorge Bridge. Mm-hmm. That exit. And then... Uh, we don't know where we're going yeah, from there. Yeah, after that, I don't know. No, we don't know. We'll figure it out. We really don't. <laughs> we tell how it is. All right. Nice little airstream here. Oh, and speaking of staying at the Cracker Barrel uh, last night, I think it, it's fairly close to the interstate, but um, I, I either we were just... Did you have too much coffee? <laughs> extremely tired, but I don't think I even like paid attention to any road noise or anything like that. Here? Well, yeah, I don't think it was too bad. No, from where it's sitting, it's not too bad. The interstate's right behind us, but we got some buildings that's kind of blocking yeah. us. So they have a really little, yeah. Sorry, huh? they have a really big parking area and uh, uh, several sites for RVs and stuff. And the, and it was pretty full last night when we came in late. So anyway, yeah, let's get going. This is going to be a long <laughs> video for me to edit. I tell you, <laughs> chop chop chop. All right. Oh, yeah, the brake. Well, probably don't need it because I can tell it's not going very well. But I always put this <laughs> collapsible cone down here just to remind myself that I have the emergency brake on. <laughs> Which is good, even though it may not work considering you tried to go <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. West Virginia may be one of the oldest rivers in the world, but it's also the namesake of America's newest national park. And that is our destination today. 
the New River Gorge National Park and Preserve. Loves, topped off our fuel and emptied the tank. We didn't need it yet, they were at 50%, but uh, we figured we'd just go ahead. We noticed that it's been kind of few and far between to uh, empty tanks around this area. Yeah, so take advantage of it when we saw it. We pulled over to Sandstone Visitor Center. We're gonna skip the Sandstone Falls uh, simply because we need to get through this whole thing today. And uh, that was gonna take quite a bit of time through and loop back around. Um, we've seen what the falls look like online. Uh, they're pretty, but for us, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna skip funny. that. <laughs> we um, we're gonna try to hit some of the things that we think are the more important stops, at least to us. And uh, I forgot what I just put in here. Do you remember? Grand View? Grand View. We're going to go see the Grand View. So that is our going to be our next stop in the New River Gorge. I don't know about her, but I'm ready to go. After I release this emergency break, now I'm ready to go. Wasn't expecting this, just a little... Little country store? Country store. Decided we're gonna stop here and see what all they have. Turn see? left. No, we're <laughs> stopping here, Siri. Getting out my side, huh? Are you capturing grandma getting out of the yep, bag or something? Yep. Where's my cane? Yeah, I don't know, where is your cane? <laughs> Unless I stop, he never tries to think of uh, locking it right away. I keep trying to tell her. That's not it. It's so easy to see that you're in love with me. I don't know if they got pie, honey. Carve your name next to mine on that big old tree. It's how you want it to be. You bring me things from the store. Put it at my front door I've lost count of the times this have happened before Not that I'm keeping score Cause I do the same for you Just like I'm supposed to do I'm yours My feelings You're mine Lemon Cherry Coconut Peach can't get much easier than that making a pie. That's what happens when you find these places. <laughs> yep. What do we get? We got she got some apple butter and some. Did you get the maple syrup too? Some West Virginia maple syrup. Meat that, sticks and cheddar bites. Yeah. What? The apple butter and the syrup though are for my mom and sister that we're gonna go see. You need me to unlock it too? Unlock it now. Okay. Well, she's getting on my side because. There's mud on her side. Mud. Dirt. This is what's for lunch today. The original smoke. I cut this from the wrong side. If I turn it this way, juice, juice is probably going to fall out. Don't do that. Though. Here it is upside down. What's it say? Original Smokies. 
meat snack. You want a meat snack? <laughs> sure. Yay. And yellow, yellow, yellow <laughs> cheddar curds. Say cheese. Give me a curd. I'm ready to go. Sunrise in West Virginia. Sleep talking on the front porch. Running barefoot to a creek. We learned to drive the van then. We had to hide it from the fishermen. Two French braids made. Looks like it's a short walk from the parking lot. Parking lot's right there. And it looks like the overlook's right there. From 1,400 feet above New River at Main Overlook, visitors are rewarded with one of the most outstanding views in the park. On a clear day, you can see directly into the heart of New River Gorge National Park and Preserve, including seven miles of the New River and its watershed. From Maine Overlook, visitors can also get a glimpse of some of the gorge's unique cultural history. From here, you see an active railway in the town of Quinnemont, where the first coal was shipped out of the gorge in 1873. That was really pretty, wasn't it? Very pretty, yes. So from, from down here at the Overlook, there's also some other trails we can go on. There's another one here called Castle Rock Trail. We're not going to go on those trails. For one, the bugs are absolutely horrible. You can't even open your mouth. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. How's your steak, son? <laughs> so there's a little visitor center there. And then just across from it, that's the entrance to the uh, trail that goes to the main overlook. have no idea what we're in for here. I mean, there's there's some cars here, but it's not really all that packed, but we're gonna find out. You changed sides on me again. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Which way did she go? Which way did she go? The other side. From the entrance right here, there's RV and bus parking straight down there. Tamarick was conceived in 1989 with a $143 million bond issued by the Parkway's Economic Development and Tourism Authority. Groundbreaking of Tamarick occurred on August 8, 1993 and opened in 1996. Ron, last time she hit me with one of those. She broke it. Tamarick considered itself as being the first statewide collection of handmade crafts, arts, and cuisine in the United States. In 2003, it added a conference center. And there you have it. That's pretty much all it was. Kind of neat, though, yeah. I mean, if you like looking at that kind of stuff. I'm sure you can find would... something that you would love there. They have lots of everything. I'm not sure about love. But I didn't find you there. Yeah, I was in there. But originally. All right, let's just keep going. Next stop is the ghost town of Thurman.
Thurman, West Virginia was incorporated in 1900 and was named for Captain W.D. Thurman, who settled here in 1844. He received the 73-acre site in 1873 as payment for a surveying job. Came, there was one spot where was it a building sticking out mm -hmm. right to the road I wasn't paying attention too much of what it was because there was a car coming riding the yellow line there was a yellow line back there and it wouldn't get over and we had to come almost come to a complete stop it's like it was trying to clip us you definitely don't want to take an RV anything bigger than this for sure yeah this is a very narrow and windy road like even a, a big a big old dually truck would not work either. Mm -mm. If you, I mean, it'd be fine if you're all by yourself on the road, but if you meet somebody else, that's a problem. Virginia, West Virginia is very, very pretty land. Yes. Yikes. I'm about ready to have coronary. It's always harder when you're the passenger. Yep. I don't know if we're going to see Thurman, the ghost town, or not. Other people are driving across this bridge. It says no large vehicles. We just saw another van go across. It was a smaller van. Yeah. I think we'd be fine. So we're going to walk up here to the bridge, take a look at it. But It's not too long of a walk. It's about a half a mile. Just think of it as good exercise. And we're going to walk on this while... Other people are driving too? Maybe. No stopping on bridge. So you just gotta keep going. This is why you don't see anybody walking the bridge. Because you can't walk the tracks. They're active tracks. The town of Thurman was accessible solely by rail until 1921. The town occupies a narrow stretch of flat land along the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad track with no road between the tracks and the town. Instead, a single lane road crosses the New River on a single track railroad bridge, then crosses the main line and climbs the hill behind the town so that it parallels the town 150 feet higher on the hill before dropping down next to the tracks. Due to its strategic position on the rail line, the commercial center thrived despite the absence of a road. You feel better now that we got across the bridge? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do too, to be honest. <laughs> See those other people? <laughs> They're waving off bugs too. They're everywhere. Captain Thurman served in the Confederate Army and died in 1910 at age 90. Need to mail that letter? The Thurman Post Office was established in 1888 and closed down in 1995.
the community remained small until Thomas G. McKell of Glen Jean negotiated with the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway for a crossing at Dunloop Creek in 1892. W.D. Thurman banned alcohol from his lands which comprised the originally incorporated portion of the town. The Dun Glen Hotel was just outside the incorporated portion. A district called Ballyhack or Ballahack on the south side near the Dun Glen became notorious as Thurman's red light district. Two hotels were in the town. One was called the Lafayette, locally known as the Lay Flat, which was close to the railroad, and the 100 room Dun Glen, which opened in 1901, became a nationally known resort. It burned down in 1930, marking the beginning of a decline that had Thurman a virtual ghost town by the 1950s. The Thurman National Bank, owned by Thurman, closed in 1931, and the New River Bank, owned by the McKells, moved to Oak Hill in 1935. While lacking a street for much of its history, the commercial district boasted two hotels, two banks, and a number of other commercial buildings. The railroad station was built in 1888, while a rail yard and shops served the extension branch, which carried coal out of the hills. The town once had a population of several hundred, which has dwindled to seven people, five households, and one family residing in the town as of the 2000 census. The railroad depot is now a visitor center for New River Gorge National Park and Preserve. Across the bridge, go down to Fayetteville. In 2.3 miles, turn right onto North Court Street. And then we're going to take a highway along the river. Should be some cool views. And I think we're just going to start heading up to Charleston, spend the night in Charleston. And then West Virginia, Charleston, West, West Virginia. West Virginia, right. And uh, then we're going to decide from there where we want to go. 
we're slowly making our way up to uh, Milwaukee, and that's where Michelle's mom's at. With sister. my sister and our family. Yeah. Family, so we'll. Uh, but we got some things we need to see before we get there. Second time over the bridge. <laughs> Other direction. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.